We have about 20 regular uh, crocheters and knitters at the center. So I uh, showed the seniors a presentation, uh, showing them other bridges that had been yarn storm, and they accepted the challenge. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's, um, it, it jazzes up the bridge. With shoes as bright as the rainbow-hued knitted art, Commissioner Chris June Kiliani helped unveil Clark County's newest yarn storming installation, an enormous piece spanning the pedestrian bridge leading to Sunrise Hospital. And then once we had about 300 circles completed, I found some shade cloth to attach the circles to, and they helped me attach the circles to the cloth. So here it is. The Boy Scouts helped us attach it to the bridge last night, and we're very excited that it, it looks so wonderful. Since starting a yarn storming class at the West Flamingo Senior Center last year, Diane Bush organized a crew of crocheters and gnarly knitters to create the circles that make up the massive masterpiece. The speedy seniors are lightning quick with their needles and honed their artistic skills by yarn storming railings and signs at the West Flamingo. Well, we're doing it because really it's very cost effective. The yarn was donated and the labor is donated. I mean, you know, back in the days when everybody was flush, you could spend a lot of money on a public art project. Yarn storming is becoming a worldwide phenomenon. By adding yarn storming to the public art arsenal, Clark County continues a community commitment that includes a successful ZAP program and new murals that have facelifted, formerly graffiti-filled walls. What we're trying to do is make sure that our young people and our local artists kind of join together. We have projects with teachers, we have projects with Monkey Gym, um, they're doing the Flamingo Wash murals along there. We have HOAs that say, oh my gosh, this looks great, would you come and do some in my property? So it's linking the community together through the arts and culture. If you are interested in yarn storming and are aged 50 or older, contact Diane Bush at 455-7742 for more information. Yarn storming happens at the West Flamingo Active Adult Center at 6255 West Flamingo Road near Jones Boulevard.